This is no clickbait because today we're gonna dive together into Jungle Cup with one of the best teams that you can use and perhaps the most unstoppable force because we're gonna use a Shadow Dragonite up in front having Vigor of as the classic safe switch while Tongue of Flame will emerge from its ashes as a pure phoenix to destroy down all those very weird uh, closers that your opponents might have. So you can see here that Vigor of on the switch can do so much work with that rock slide but at the same time the main asset of this team is gonna be Dragonite because of how easy it can be up in front to destroy down even some of its counters and one of these of its counters is gonna be this one this amazing ice type Pokemon Piloswine other ice type Pokemon like Abomasno are also gonna be kind of a big pain for you but with a super power later on on the battle and with proper rotation around your Vigoroth you can always surpass even that ice type Type, uh, weakness. The only th uh, real threat that I figured out with this team might be something like nothing because this team has no weakness at all. I'm really telling you this. And as you can see here, my amazing Talon Flame will just take the victory eventually into the next battle. And yes, trainers, this is gonna be a video with only bad leads along the way. We're gonna have Whimsicott up in front, switching effectively out to our white tape, and now Lantern is gonna come into the battle. So what we want to do here is at all costs to go ahead and protect our Vigoroth so that we can finish off this lantern with our Pokemon because in doing so we can flip around a very bad lead that we have and not only that we can wall down in return that poor, that, uh, poor Whimsicott with our Town Flame which is also pretty great while we can rely on our Dragonite for the end game. However on this incident I realized that they have zero shields so I decided to let my uh, Dragonite go down and rely completely on the end game on my town flame because with lantern out of the game nothing can stop me in reality right now especially when they are shieldless not only that but we also have access to brave bird which is gonna connect for extra damage on our opponents just gonna block here just in case this is a weird hurricane or anything else but we are already there now to that amazing brave bird for the double ko against my opponent that was a crazy battle indeed and now let's keep going into another bad lead this time up against the Vigoroth, uh, up against an Abomas, no excuse me, Vigoroth will come in as the usual safe switch and we managed to bait out of there this charge bug. So this is obviously looking pretty good for us right now because we can push so much now for the shield but for some reason I lose the race here and I was not expecting this but I guess this is what happens when you misunderstand uh, the situation and obviously we need to sacrifice a shield in the process so that we can finish them off. My opponent makes the crucial mistake of letting that charge bug going down and now we can have the upper hand with the other two Pokemon on the rotation because now Town of Flame is gonna incinerate down that poor Abomas now out of existence. Let's send it back to its Ice Age and of course now the only real threat to this team is gonna be Vigoroth but to be fair this is no threat at all because by relying completely on that one seal that we have we can easily farm down with our pure fast attacks into the next battle now trainers with the gas lord up in front this is a different uh, threat for your dragonite mainly because this pokemon can do so much more damage and apply so much more pressure with its bug so that they can farm you down as you can see here on the one seal scenario overall this is not the worst uh, situation to be in not the worst core breaker for your team because uh, although you can fall down with your Dragonite, you can still do so much damage and in a weird way you can still finish them off with Vigoroth coming in but my opponent now has access to their Steelix which means that my Town of Flame has to do all the heavy work over here. Down they go to a simple flame charge with a boost we manage to finish off with the resisted incinerate that remaining HP of Gaslord and now with that Mountain remaining at the back all that remains is to go ahead and push as much as possible for that Brave Bird. I want to clear the debuff though, even though we already had the boost before from the Flame Charge, but in doing so, we can still guarantee that one Rock Slide here will most likely drop them at the point that one Charge Attack of mine will just finish them off. And since they cannot farm down, I remind to you that we also have the Brave Bird, we managed to finish them off with a final Body Slam. 
Now against the Pancake Pokemon, this is the most flat one that exists on the entire lore I believe. We managed to have kind of a weird lead here because those discharges are gonna be kinda clutch to my uh, HP levels but at the same time I have a feeling that one super power from this range might actually do the trick. However my opponent decides to block, that was a pretty smart block and I'm just gonna switch out to my Vigoroth and the good news here is that we have flipped around uh, that uh, weird lead that we had because of Shield Advantage. Now with that in mind, we're just gonna go down I guess to that bot slam so that we can return in here with our Town of Flame this time and start farming down all that uh, energy that it can provide. To, to incinerate worth of energy to be exact which is absolutely insane for us. Now with Mountain coming into the game, we have access to Brave Bird to deal so much damage. Now switching out to our Shadow Dragonite and the plan here is to clear the debuff that that's why I went straight for the switch. Not only that, but they also sacrificed some crucial energy in the process, which means now that it's all up to our KFC bird. Able to get now the flame charge and hopefully now I really hope and pray that this next incinerate will deal the deal and send the pancake Pokemon back to its frying pan. And not only that, but we also have another flame charge this time to guarantee the victory for our team. Into the next battle now with the charger back up in front. This is obviously a bad one for us because those vault switches are just gonna shred us apart. But my opponent knows a little bit of counting so they try to catch uh, our move to the Whimsicott but we know much much better. I was expecting the switch to be honest and at this point we're just gonna fire off a move because as it seems the next Moonblast might actually do the trick here. So now that they have the charge bug coming into the game I decide to let the move go through. It might be an X scissor but at the same time it isn't, so the discharge here is just gonna finish off our town flame. Down goes the flying bird, and of course, now we can spam those drown close to victory. Down goes now that charge up as well. I was not expecting this, even in the replay, I was not sure if they were gonna leave that uh, final shield for the final Pokemon or just use it for charge up, but as it seems, they want to use it for Vigoroth. And now that we have the shield advantage, we can easily rely on the mirror battle since we have the different. Uh, HP levels towards our favor and we can finally get this victory. Into the final one now and I would not let you go without seeing a battle with a Vigoroth up in front which is obviously the most common one. This trainer also tries to catch the Dragonclaw I guess on their Steelix but look at the damage output because I was never gonna get my hands on that Dragonclaw. Instead I could go for that super power they got on the Steelix which is not a catch as uh, you can see and of course now my shiny Vigoroth is gonna come into the battle to destroy down their dreams of winning. So here comes now the shield on whatever they throw, I'm not gonna risk it at all, I know I can survive the following moves while I still have that talent flame at the back remaining. And good for me that I blocked because now my bot slams are gonna come in super clutch up against the lantern and if I could let my Vigoroth go down well with that, with that lantern at the very end my talent flame would would be in a very bad shape. Now we can let our Vigoroth go down and since we still have a shield I have a feeling that we can easily farm down in the process but let's see what my opponent can do here because at the same time this Vigoroth is gonna reach to a move. This is super scary at this point but hopefully it is just a bot slam and that final incinerate will get that final victory for today's content. That is gonna be all for today. Thank you for watching for sticking around with me till the end. It really means a lot for the channel but before you go leave a like subscribe and i hope to see you all into the next one